You know what? I love chicken, I love mashed potatoes, and I love gravy. So today I decided to make up this absolutely delicious chicken and gravy over mashed. So let's get cooking. What you're gonna do is start with a couple of chicken breasts sliced in half, and these are boneless skinless, but you can use thighs as well. Season our breasts up with some salt, a few cracks of ground black pepper, well, of course, more than a few cracks. Just love me pepper. Some garlic powder, another one of my all time favorites. Thyme, chicken's best friend. And mine. Onion powder. Last but not least, some Italian seasoning. I use this on just about everything. And of course, you're gonna do this for both sides. Now, I should mention, this is totally my idea of seasoning. You can use whatever you like, just my idea. And I'm using uh, chicken breast, but you can use rotisserie chicken. Works absolutely perfectly fine. But I like the uh, chicken breast because I can control what goes in it or on it, I should say. Next up, some oil into a pan over medium-high heat. Chicken in. And we're just gonna fry this up until it's cooked through. It won't take that long because it's cut in half and fairly thin. And just check this out, guys. A nice sear, the, that seasoning beautifully baked on. Ah, I could just eat them right now, but I won't. Oh, they smell so good. Now, before we make the gravy here, guys, you've got a few options. You can uh, use the chicken breasts whole as they are. You can slice them up. You can take a couple of forks and shred them. Just kind of something to this effect. Or you can slip them into the bowl of your kitchen mixer and we'll slip it on and shred them up. This might sound crazy, but it works fantastic. And just like this, guys, doesn't that do a fantastic job? Who would have thought? Now it is time to make up our gravy. So in the same pan, I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of butter. You don't wanna to touch this pan, there are all kinds of wonderful flavors happening here. I'll just let this melt down. Chicken and gravy, yum. In with three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And we are going to whisk, 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 and whisk until the flour is cooked through and a roux forms. Once the flour is dissolved and cooked through, I'm gonna add in a cup of chicken broth, which is about half of what we're gonna use. And continue to whisk. Once we've whisked a little bit, I'm gonna add in a little bit of sage, some thyme, some onion powder, some pepper, and some garlic. And again, you know, I tend to season aggressively, but it's entirely up to you. Let's give this a mix up. Add in the other cup of chicken stock. And continue whisking until it's smooth and lump free. Now we're gonna take that simply delightful chicken and add it back in. Give it a good stir and we'll just let this simmer for a few minutes. And just look at this, guys. I mean, this is true, actual chicken gravy or chickeny gravy. Mmm. This is going to be so good. And I can just imagine this too with leftover shredded chicken. Now, my friends, it is time to kill the heat and we're ready to serve. Oh, oh yum. 
And this is gonna be perfect, We're served up over some mashed. So I'm just gonna grab some of this up, put this onto a plate, and I've got a great mashed recipe, so I will put a link below. It's one of our all-time favorites. Of course, some peas on the side. And some of that incredibly delicious chicken gravy over the top. Oh my goodness, this smells absolutely incredible. Here I go with the smell of vision again. Last but not least, for some color and a bit of fresh pop, some fresh parsley. Just look at this, guys. Wow. What more can I say? And there you have it, our wonderfully, simply delicious chicken and gravy over mash. You are going to love this, believe me. All right, let's dig in here and see what we have. <laughs> Just look at this, guys. Okay. Mmm. The ultimate comfort food, guys. This is ridiculously good. And so simple. Mm. I just love it. Mm. That chicken is so good. The gravy is so good. And the mash. You gotta try the mash, too. Mm. So good. Of course, we're gonna have more.